I am super excited because Google just added our image metric grid to the community visualization tab inside of Data Studio. So now you don't even have to go to the website. You can just access the image metric grid directly from um, Data Studio. So without further ado, this is a quick, a quick demo. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you how to use it just in case anybody's forgotten, don't worry about it. So let's just hop into it and I'm gonna run through every single aspect of this. So first thing that you're gonna be looking at, right? So first thing is, here is Data Studio. Good job. We have found Data Studio. And so what we're going to do here is we want to look at the um, section right here where it says Community Visualizations and Components. Click on that. Then you're gonna, there's these four right here. I don't know who greased whose palms to get this active here, but somebody did. So these four are here. You hit Explore More. This opens up all these different community visualizations. So you got a sunburst, you wanna have all these different things, like all these different like um, community visualizations that have been here for forever. But if you scroll all the way down, you will see the image metric grid um, by datastudio.vip. So if you click on this, you're gonna say allow. So big thing I wanna point out about this, you, are not putting your data in jeopardy, okay? So I have built this, right? So we built this community visualization. People get weirded out when they see this. We can barely even see who's using this. <laughs> you get almost zero visibility. There are like some like weird hacks you could probably do, but just in general, most, if you're in this template, you're probably good. If you're not in this template, just check the documentation. If there is anything wonky, look at it. 98% of the time, you are good to go. We're gonna hit allow. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put this on the field. And I guarantee you almost nothing's ever gonna work because you need a hosted image URL. So what a hosted image is, is any image that's on, the web, on a website on the internet. So basically you're not uploading images to Data Studio. What you're doing is you are actually referencing links that are hosted on the internet. They can be in Google Drive, in buckets, in uh, WordPress, does not matter, on Google, <laughs> like Google Images, you can do that. So any of those, totally fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do this We're using a Google Sheet that I have got. So here is a Google Sheet that has hosted images by Pixum, which I think is some free host or three image providers. If you click on it, if this is a hosted image. Basically there's a URL on the internet that this image is hosted or lives, okay? That's what this is. So basically we've just got a bunch of random things, download URL, spend, impression, etc. Most pl ad platforms give you a hosted image preview URL. Okay, so Facebook ads, um, TikTok ads gives you a, uh, TikTok gives you a, a preview or like a, um, not a preview, a, a, a thumbnail, right? So does uh, YouTube ads, all, all YouTube videos. All of these will give you thumbnails, not necessarily the video, but we don't want the video, we want the images. So most ad platform connectors have them. I'll leave a link in the comments down below of like some of our favorite connectors, but that's beside the point. Okay, so we got this hosted thing. Now let's connect it up. So I'm just gonna come in here. We're gonna add some little data. I'm gonna get my head out of the way. All we're gonna do is add a Google Sheet and we're just gonna grab the image metric grid demo and we're gonna use the uh, Facebook ads, okay? So boom. So if I hit add, it will say, hey, no can change your found, we are good to go. So. Let's come in here. Let's grab our image metric grid demo. So I don't know why it's not showing up, but we'll go over here. And so here, what you see, you have the download URL. So if you put this, oh wait, you need to swap this over to the image. Sometimes you have to refresh. Data Studio sometimes is weird. So here, what we can do is just grab the image metric grid demo Facebook ads. You then have a date, a dimension, and an image. So the only thing you have to do here is wrap the create a new field that has an image field. So all you gotta do, add a field, image, function, and you're gonna use the download URL, which is where the hosted image is. And I'm gonna say image preview. Okie doke. Boom. We are now hitting save. We are hitting done. Okay, so now we have this thing you can see right there. It is signify that this is in fact an image. We're gonna just drag that onto the field. 
And now, it, if it does it right, right, if it's a hosted image, this is going to pull in all of your images. And it's dynamic to the width, so you can see it kind of snapping here. And then you can add in as many metrics you want. So by default, it's going to be record count, but let's just add in how much we spent, how many impressions we had, right? Maybe we had the ROAS. I think it says ROAS, not spent. So ROAS, spend, all that jazz. We are off to the races. And now you have a beautiful grid in view mode of your images with two metrics at the top. In this style setting right here, you can hop in, you can turn off different metrics if you want to. So say for example, you wanted to sort by image metric two, but you wanted to have them here, totally okay. Uh, you can then change the colors, right? Let's go with the this color and this color, and then you can change these to white, right? So you can change them. Um, actually, let's do that. And then let's make this like a lighter color. And now you have this red and <laughs> red and pink <laughs> color. Again, not the coolest, but hey, you can do that. Uh, you can add in a border radius if you are using full squares. Let me see if there are any squares here. I'm not sure if there are. But you can round the edges of the uh, squares if you'd like to using this uh, border right here. And then you can also change the background, right? So this is the background of everything. Kind of if you wanted to add it in a little bit of a, a style. This is, again, more of a default thing from um, Google Ads or not Google Ads, from a data studio. So that's that. Next, extra hidden features. So you have an image preview. Now, what if you wanted to open a link? So say you wanted to go to edit of something, all you gotta do, drag in a URL, that's a hyperlink. So you can see here it's a hyperlink. Um, and then what you should see, let me just make this a little bit, I left the styles on super weird. All right. Okay, that was crazy. And let's just refresh because I was messing around a little bit too much. Okay, so now we've got image preview and we got this, right? So this is where you're gonna start saying, hey, we've got a URL here. So all you have to do to have it open a new field is create something with the hyperlink function. So here, download URL or any link that you'd like to. Let's just, I'm actually just gonna type in uh, like Google HTTPS, Google, Dot com. All right, so open link. And then here you can just put click. All right, and hit save. So now what you can do is you can put this right here and now that link will be populated on every image. So if you had, for example, an ad and then you wanted to have it open the ad set or the individual ad in view mode, all you've got to do is this, and then now if you click on this, it's going to open whatever link you put there. So if we wanted to get real fancy, let's just go and edit this link, okay? And what we can do is we can put in the actual destination. So here we'll put in the download URL, and now what will happen is, is every single link in view mode will go to the full resolution image of that. So there you go. Now you have a, a giant grid of images. You are off to the races. So lastly, what happens if you wanna filter something? So let's just say, for example, you have a bunch of ads on the screen or a bunch of landing pages, and you want to then have, uh, let's just add a scorecard up here, and let's put in the impressions. Okay, so over all of these ads, we've served 2.4 million impressions. But what if you wanted to filter by like only looking at the footprint ones or things like that? You can turn on cross filtering, and then what will happen is you can decide how you wanna filter things. The beauty of this is by default, it will filter on what you have, but you can actually add a third um, image. So if, say for example, we wanted to use the download URL as the filter. So now if you click on this, you can see that this is filtering on the download URL. So now you can see if you wanted to say, hey, every beach photo, let's just hold shift now and click on these. Like now you're adding up as many of the different pieces that you want and you're filtering um, across using images. So that's pretty cool. And you can still open up a link at any time to go to a new page. So that is the image metric grid demo. I hope that was at least a little bit uh, encapsulating. I am super excited that is now inside of the Google templates, right? So it's inside of data studio's templates. So we're one of the 50 providers that have one, but it's pretty cool. And if you have any questions at all, do not hesitate to drop them down below. And lastly, if you are still here, I have something super excited is there is a quiz 
that we have on betterthandata.com forward slash YouTube. And you can answer this quiz and we'll give you some advice as far as how we got to where we are at the Media Authentic Agency, Data Studio VIP, and all of the all of those pieces. So the goal here, again, give you get you to action. <laughs> action is better than data. And we are excited to see this. So if you made it to the end of this video, watch, the, go, go here, and we'll I'll drop a link down below. And I hope that is super exciting. I will see you guys in the next video. And toodaloo.